back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Antichamber. Where we left off last time, we were trying to figure out where to go next. I can't remember where to get the red gun and that's really what we're supposed to be doing at the moment. We need to go where? We can go this way, actually. So there are two doors in this area if we go through. Some paths are straightforward. This one will lead to a fall. Now we can jump and go flying back up, but there's also just this elevator here. Life has a way of pushing us in the right direction, and we are back at life. Now, there is a way to do this without actually having the red gun. So we need to come this way first. I guess we haven't done the life area yet either. We should do that. Yeah, we should do life first. We'll do life first and then we'll come back to that part. So this is the life room. It has a bunch of display cases, each with different models inside of them. They're all kind of really cool. They all exist in the same sort of planar space, but they're not, obviously. The key takeaway from this room though is there's a hidden door behind this one that we can go through and it says when you absorb your surroundings you may notice things you didn't see before. I do know the way through this puzzle of course. Sort of. Nope I did it wrong. No I didn't. There we go. And this says if you never stop trying you'll get there eventually. And you can go left or right on this it doesn't matter you'll end up in the same spot. We have to go around lots and lots of times. So this says some choices can leave us running around in circles. And we'll just continue all... I have a phone call. Sorry, one second. I am not answering it. I don't know how to turn off the ringer. It's my work iPhone. But I'm not at work today, so I don't care. Not my problem. We're gonna keep going around this circle until inevitably we reach the end and we can say... Raw persistence may be the only option other than giving up entirely. So we're going to go back through that wall again. There's more to do over there still. I think... No, no, there's not. That's it. That's all there is. We can go back out, but it doesn't really matter. So we're going to jump back out to here. We might need to go... Oh, we can do more of this place. Okay, so you might be wondering, how do you get to the other entryways. There's several different paths. I'm gonna go to this one first. Because quick and there's nothing really there. So the easiest and best way, stand on top of your little thing, send it up to the roof, wait for it to take you all the way up, and then just jump over. This is just the back side of a wall. There's nothing here as far as I can tell. There's no hidden walls, there's no there's nothing, so that's just kind of a neat little area you can get to if you really are feeling squirrely. And we can just take this cube down to here. We're going to go into this room next. So we're going to hop on our cube, our, our trusty cube, straight up towards the top, and we'll just hop down. We've been here before, though, as you may recall. This is the room. Oh, wait, we've been to this room. I went to the wrong room. Sorry, we need to go to that room. We've been to that room. This is the room we need to go to. So, trusty cube. Down again. Yeah, that's correct. Hello, cube. The cube can't touch the wall or it will explode, so just keep that in mind, too. And we'll chop over. Alright, so here we are. Now, there's a bunch of different ways you can do this, but the easiest way is just to... Fill in the black. I think we've been here before, too. No, this is level 6. Maybe not. Right, this you can't fill up. There's no way to put bricks in here. You have to move these things around. Which can be sort of annoying, actually. First of all, you want to join them all up. Make them one giant line, and then you're going to make yourself a square. I don't know if there's going to be enough to make a full square. There should be. Perfect. And now this is going to be the front of the group. We're going to go around this way. We need to clear out the middle. 
and then make another square. Alright, here we go. So we're gonna need more pieces still. I don't know if that's enough. I think we might do one more square's worth. Oops. One. And that should be enough, no matter what that is. Should be good. Alright. So we just go like this. And our goal is to make this whole thing a square. fill in the whole thing and we can go through. Old solutions can apply to new problems. Now we've done level 6 or challenge 6, I don't really know what it's considered. But now we're back at hmm. Now you might be wondering how do we get through the hmm. There's two ways you can go about getting through the hmm, but you can do the easy way which is basically just make yourself a path. Stuck. Oh, I screwed up the hmm. Because I got stuck. Sometimes the clipping in the game is a bit weird. The WTF can be solved in a similar way, I think. No, you can't. It's definitely a red gun only thing. But that's okay. We can just go loop again. You know what? This time we're not going to bother getting the other hmm. We're just going to go straight that way. We don't need more blocks, we can do it with just this group of them. And we're in. And it says, sometimes sometimes you need to be carried. Now we're done challenge seven. There's the red gun there. That's where we need to get. How do we get there, you ask? Good question. I vaguely remember how, but this is one of Now this is sort of annoying because we have to do this. Oh good, perfect. And we're through. This says, straightforward problems can often require roundabout solutions. So, you're gonna jump across here, and you're like, oh, how do we get into there? We must have to go into there. Oh, what does that say? It says, up? Up, what do you mean by up? And suddenly you're in a new room. Attention to detail can lead to very rewarding outcomes. We're back in here. You can see that black cube going by again. And now what do we do though? We're stuck in this room. Kind of. Actually, we're definitely stuck in this room, except we go down. Oh no, we're stuck. It says to go up again. What could you mean by that? There's a lot of people that have trouble with this puzzle. Which I just screwed up because I did the wrong thing. There we go. Nope, I did the wrong thing again. Get back down here. You know what? I'll stand on the P. I don't care. So you grab the edge of one, and then you just go up. And you gotta be careful for ledges, but if you're careful, you have a problem. It should carry you straight up to the top, and then you can kind of just up off. Your goal is to make a little wall here. And the reason for that is when you go across, you're gonna go bloop, and you're gonna hit it. And you're gonna fall down again. There's so many different falls, why are you falling so much? But now look, there's an arrow up there. What is going on in this weird place? Again, we're gonna send ourselves up. You can also go that way, but that does not go where we want to go currently. We can always do that part later, but we're gonna go to this way first. This is the important part. And it says, no matter how high you climb, there's always more to achieve. Now, Oh, right, this is annoying. We need to make squares, or cubes. The first step. First step is to get another piece, because we don't have enough pieces yet. Grab that piece. Now we can make a square. If it didn't screw up. There we go. And we go back out here, and up there, and then down, and then we can make another square again. 
Except that the middle is still full, so that's not going to work. We need to get the middle unfull of cubes. One more square should be enough squares. Okay, that should be fine. So the easiest way to go about doing this is to please sever that one, push this down. Nope, that didn't work. Still not working. All right, well, we can go if we just quickly enough. Oh, there's no way. Well, maybe I didn't screw up my angle of attack. No, that didn't work. Oh, that one worked. Okay, good. Good, those two are done. Excellent, now we can get these to work. Um, perfect, and that's all we needed to do, and now we have the red gun. There comes a time when you can work your way through everything. Now this is neat because you can just grab and select and consume whole bunches and also make whole bunches, like that. The further we get, the less help we need. The exit again. Getting to the end requires tying off the loose ends. Alright, so we've been through that door. We did that one already, but there's the other side. And the other side we couldn't do earlier. There's a reason for that, but mostly we needed to grab these. I shouldn't have done it that way, but that's silly. We need a bunch of these. You can multiply them by doing that middle mouse thing. And then we're just going to go fill this whole thing up. And you might be wondering, but why? Why is that important? Why did that matter? It's because the holes in this side are on that end. And I mean, we could easily have just, or we could just as easily, sorry, have gone like this. And grabbed a whole bunch of these little things. But anyways, the important part is we can put a thing in there and we can click on this and it says the best solutions may still be the most primitive ones. Bloop. Oh, we lost our things. And we've fallen. What does this say? Falling down teaches us how to get up and try again. Does it? Does it really? So we're going to do that and we're going to refill. Oh no, why didn't that work? He asked. And you might be wondering, like, well, what do you do then? How do you get this to be all four corners? And the answer is... I remember. Okay, I do remember now. Yeah. Um, one there. Look like that. I don't remember actually. Because I can't put one in there, can I? Wait a tick. So one is done. I can't touch these anymore. one I don't recall very well. I'm sure it's an easy solution that I'm just not getting at the moment. Oops, I didn't mean to bump my microphone there. Hmm. Okay. Let's ponder this. I need to get one to each corner, right? But if I do that, if I ever take the middle one out, everything vanishes. You know what? I don't need this. I can make myself my own ladder. Gotta make sure it doesn't knock us off our- Oh god, it's bouncing around like crazy. Ha! You can't do everything yourself. Says who? I just did. We're in a yellow room now. We're in- Oh. I can do whatever I want by myself, apparently. I don't 
think there's anything in this room we can do. Oh, never mind, there's an invisible wall. So that leads back to that room. This is confusing. Go this way. We've ended up back in this room. There we go, now we're in a black room. With two doors, and some sort of adjoining sort of door. Hmm. Nothing we can do in there. Wait, there's a hole in the floor. I'm in a series of identical red rooms with a black above me. Apparently that didn't do anything. Or did it? Okay, this room has a blue room adjoining. Or do they all have blue rooms adjoining? I am super confused. Is there another hole in the ground I need to jump through? Nope. Okay, I don't know what to do there. That's a very confusing place. Where were we? I don't even know where we were. But we can now do the WTF path. Take a little deeper, we may find something new. We need to grab some of these. Let's grab a bunch. I think that should almost be enough. Okay, so we have this WTF floor. That is not the correct path. We can make ourselves a giant red floor. And just let it go do its whole thing. Good enough. But now we need that floor, so we're gonna go ahead and steal it all back. And we're going to go here, and it says, Obscure problems may require unusual solutions. I do know the way to do this, but we, it'll bounce you back and forth. And if you want to jump down, you can, and it goes up somewhere. Actually, you know what? Let's go up somewhere. Oh no, we've ended up in this room we've been in before. But this is different now, because we can drink up this thing. Oh, I should probably finish it off, I guess. There we go. It's empty now. We can walk through. When you look beyond the surface, there may be more to find. This is actually just a cool little area that showcases some of the assets in the game. There's also this door, which we can't get into just yet. Actually, I don't know if I ever get into that area. Can't recall. But, we can see there's an eye there. There's these two things. There's also a... Um, sign in there. How do we get it? There's got to be a way. Let's go back to the beginning. Maybe there's a... No, there's too much champagne here. I don't think there's a way that we can get through all of this. Although, maybe. Anyways, we look through and there's more signs there along with this blue and black type thing. Do I want to get in there? Yes, I do, but I don't know how. Anyways, we're gonna move on. Uh, we need to go back to that WTF room. It's hitting a wall. And unfortunately, we can't just go straight to hitting a wall because we actually do need blocks to do this puzzle. Should be enough. If you don't have a block, you can't do the puzzle properly. There is a way... No, there isn't, actually, I don't think. I literally don't think you can do the puzzle without blocks. You don't... That's enough. That's more than enough. So, the key thing here is you're going to want to build a wall. It doesn't have to be super high. It has to be higher than that, though. Apparently. There you go. 
All you want to do is hit the wall. But now we're on the wrong side of the wall, so that was dumb. Back we go to... Actually, maybe we can just stay. Can we just go here? We really can't, eh? We have to go to the other side. That sucks. Alright, back to here. Grab more blocks again. We built the row all on the wrong side. That was dumb. We need to land on the side where we can open the door. That's the important part. Although, now that I think about it, I could just use the blocks to get over the wall. I may have wasted my time slightly. Good enough. There we go, that's a big enough wall. Alright, this is an annoying puzzle actually. So, I remember how to do this correctly. Do I remember how to do this correctly? Kinda. Nope, that's not how you do it. You need... I need all of these. There we go. Okay. Now this one has to go here. And I have to go... This one, move this over? No. That gets rid of them both, so it can't be that one. Yes, no, that's right, okay. Now I go... That was just in time. And then we go... Bloop. Bloop. Right, okay, good. Now you'll see that that door's open. We really didn't have to leave last time, because we could have just gone like this. Or even just... One. Give ourselves an elevator, jump over, and we're through. And now we're in a new room. This is the room full of rooms. This is sort of like the blueprint for the game. There's just so many pictures to go through. 2006 till 2013 to build the game. It's a very impressive game, I have to say. And this just leads back to where we were. So, now where are we off to? Being an entrepreneur. So we only have two blocks here. That seems insane. How are you supposed to... Oh, right, we can make a million blocks. Okay, that should be enough. And then we go bloop. Hope that was enough. Yeah, well, that's a lot. Under construction, some things don't have a deeper meaning. This is literally just under construction. We can't go there. But I thought we'd need to show you guys that that was a thing that we could have done or tried to do. Climbing the tower. Stop and go. Right, if we're careful, we can go through this path into here. This is a different way. Taking one path often means missing out on another. But we're here. What is here, you might ask? How do we get through this? He said, uncertainly. We still need a block for this, so we need to go across. Actually, I think we need to go up top, to be honest. Maybe we can grab one from here. It's possible we might be able to grab one from here. Actually, I don't know if you can grab those pieces, to be honest. Alright, so we go this way, and then we go this way. Nope, this is the wrong path. This is the wrong direction. I think we need to go on this one. There's a path that has a block that we can just grab to bring with us. This one. We can grab those, I think. Good enough, I'm running. Give me your blocks. I'm going back this way. Now we just wait patiently for the bridge to reconnect. And we're off. In the general direction of where we need to go. Alright, I open up.
We really only needed one block to make this puzzle work, but whatever. We put it down here. Maybe we need two. Yeah, we'll just grab them all. You can just uh, use the other one to move them and grab them all and connect them to each other, but you don't have to. Some problems can't be solved until you're more experienced. And we've got... Oh, that's the way out. We're almost actually done the game. When we move on, there's nothing left to learn. We'll come back to some of the other puzzles, I think. Or maybe we should do them now. Oh, well, we'll do some of this stuff first. So there's the black cube ahead of us. We're going to chase that beast down. Oh, no. How do we get up? To oh, there's a la jumpy. We're jumping. I already kind of know where to go, but... We're gonna follow it. It's going through this windy path. Come back. Cube. Uh, red and blue, not important really. You can go either way on them, it doesn't really matter. But now, where did it go? It went through there. How do we get there? We gotta go bounce. Oops, I jumped wrong. Oh, I missed. We need to get our height back. There we go. This puzzle always gives me trouble. I can never remember which one's the right one, but our goal is to get to... Oh, it doesn't show it here. To the... Not that one. Is it this one? Nope. Is it this one? Yes. It's to get to this color. And that means we can go through here. To this dark box. Now, normally you'd be stuck in this box. If you turn around, there's actually a wall here. And you're like, why well, can't I get out? But if you look this way, you can walk backwards through the wall. And there's a similar path or pattern here. So you can just walk straight through the wall there. And we can jump through. Boom. Oh, we can't get through. But you can. You just got to watch the eye. And this lasts a very short period of time. So you got to be kind of on the ball about it. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Okay, so it's blink, 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 and then it starts to go, and then we can just jump straight through, and we are on our way. We're down a different colored corridor. I'm gonna go nice and slow on this part, because I always mess this part up. Now we just gotta wait. go. Now there's more paths. Some of them are invisible, so we gotta figure out where we need to go. And you might be wondering, why is there an invisible path here, and where do we go from here? So we need to actually bounce around like this, and wait for this, and we missed, and I fell. Ah, I always screw that part up. Alright, let's move on. Back up we go. Super annoying. I'm bad at this part. This is my... Oh, I jumped too far. <laughs> Oh, where am I going now? This way. Okay. Again. There we go. That was better. So. There we go. Door was open that time, and we were free and clear to continue on our way. There's black and white, and this says... Complicated problems are easier when solved one step at a time. Now, I think... That we should prob... well, no, it's fine. So now where do we go? That's the big question, right? So we go this way. And then we go here here and there's a lot of doors and stuff we're passing and there's a reason for that and the reason is we'll figure out in the next video because I think we're at half an hour so we're gonna call it here we'll finish up this game in the next video we're actually really close to the end so I'm going the wrong way there's also champagne around and we have to go down here and in so we'll call it here for now and then we'll finish this up next time like always if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next video.
and we'll continue on our way. I think we have to go through that chase part again. It won't be too long though, because I just jumped through. Oh no, the escape is right there. We can go totally straight right there. Um, but I do want to finish off some of the other puzzles. Like, we haven't done... I don't think we did laying the foundation. We did laying the foundation. Maybe we did. But there are things we haven't done. Like, there's a bunch of things we haven't found yet. So we should probably go take a look around and see if we can pick them up. We kind of raced through the beginning part of the game, but now we... We have more places we can go. Oh, we can easily do this one. I'm going to do this one really quickly. See, we can go straight through there. And this just says, splitting a problem up may help you find the answer. Number four! And then some lead back to somewhere else. Fly? I think not. But for now, I will see you all in the next video. Take care.